grand rising gods and goddesses. Today I'm making this video to um, you know, let you guys know what's happening in the world, man. Listen to this, don't skip. If you've seen this on your um, FYP, this is for you to listen to, man, for real. This is for my gods, my light beings, my spiritual people. This is for everyone. Everyone that's on this earth, you gotta hear this. Everybody needs to be more in their heart and not in their minds. When we're in our minds, that's how you get hijacked by aliens, by the dark. They want you to use your head more. That's why everybody be like, use your brain. But you need to really use your heart because your heart is your mind in a sense because you make decisions from the heart first. Then it goes to your brain, not the other way around. If it, if it comes to your mind first, a lot of the times it's, you know, ideas that's being fed to you. But if you're coming from the heart and you feel it first, that's how you know that source, that's God giving you that inspiration, that's God giving you that motivation. So all of us need to start being more in our heart center and not in just our minds and our heads. Because when we're in our heads, it leave, it leave us open from being um, attacked by our dark. And it's exactly what's happening. We're under attack by the dark and they are going after any and everybody that's using their brain more the people that think they're so smart and the people that use like that be mind game and trying to mind game everybody those are the people that's usually like on their tap out of dark and then in return they try to attack you too with bad vibes and energy sometimes it'd be loved ones family members you know even people you encounter on the road sometimes they want to argue and fight with you for no reason that's because they're in their minds they're in their brains so when they're in their heads Guess what? The dark hops in there too and it attacks them. You know what I mean? It, it start going after them and manipulating them, giving them bad thoughts. That's why you can't really be mad at nobody. Like when they just seem like they be having a bad day, you never know what that person is going through. They might be under attack by the dark forces and don't even know it. So us as light beings, as gods and goddesses, what we got to do is go in our heart center and send them light, send them love. It might not make sense to you, but if you're going to send them hate and be mad with them, all it's going to do is create that environment that the dark want. So what we do is we do the opposite of that. We do the total opposite of that. We send them love and light and peace, and we wish them abundance and prosperity. You get me? To all of them, no matter who it is. Don't spread hate and fear. That's a low vibration. Only spread love and peace and light because that's how we transcend all of this programming that everybody's been programmed to be and um to act like everybody's usually not themselves man basically and um the more you observe stuff around you and people around you, you will see exactly what i'm talking about i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of you have noticed it already how certain loved ones and family members act when you say certain words to them they, they turn into a fight and an argument when in all reality you're not trying to fight or argue with nobody you're just trying to shed light and enlighten them because that's how source us light beings share light by us sharing the knowledge and enlightenment that we receive from source so we enlighten each other by shedding that light on certain things that you know people would probably not otherwise see so sometimes people take it to the head and it becomes like an ego thing and then the ego comes into play and it becomes like a like we're battling with the minds and it's not what it is it's not a battle between who's smarter or who knows more it's not none of that it's actually about helping each other by if i receive something that the other might not receive yet i want that other person that other light being to know too so that way we're all ready and that we can defend ourselves against the dark so that's what i'm here for man that's what i'm on um tiktok for is to spread love and light and peace to everybody nothing else and that's it just to just to shed light on what's happening in the world and enlighten the world to the fact that we're gods and goddesses and death does not exist time doesn't exist so if we want change in this world we gotta first go inside ourselves and change ourselves that's how we change the world a lot of people won't tell you this they're gonna tell you all types of bullcrap guru stuff and stuff to do but really it's really up to you like bob molly said none but ourselves can free our mind in mind self our mental slavery only we, only us can free our minds. So everybody, we wake up to them and think positive. When you start off your day, you start your day thinking highly positive. You don't think negative. You think negative, you're gonna get negativity. You go into your heart and you come from your heart center. And you think with love and peace and abundance to everybody. 
The more you think like that towards everybody, guess what? God in the universe is going to give it all to you. Peace, love, and abundance to all.